This week's story is from the book of Ruth, chapters 1 to chapter 4. It's a story about a man called Elimelech and his wife, Naomi. They lived in a town in Judah called Bethlehem. Spoiler alert! This is the same Bethlehem where Jesus would be born many, 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 many years later. But they decided to move from Bethlehem all the way to Moab, although they probably didn't go on a pirate ship. When they were there, they had two sons, Kilion and Melon. Unfortunately, Emelech died. This made Naomi sad. But her sons got married. One to Orpah. Not to be confused with American talk show host Oprah Winfrey. And one got married to Ruth. Not to be confused with one of the many Ruths who are part of the Lower Early Baptist Church family. This made Naomi happy. Unfortunately, both her sons died. This made Naomi sad again. She decided to go back all the way from Moab to Bethlehem, still not in a pirate ship. Her daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth, wanted to go with her. But Naomi said, no, they should stay in Moab and find new husbands. So Orpah said, OK, see ya! But Ruth said, no. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. So they travelled all the way back to Bethlehem. Still no pirate ship and probably not even a little donkey. When they got there, they had to find some way to survive. So Ruth went to a field to glean corn. This basically means picking up all the bits of food that nobody else wanted to eat. Yuck! The field belonged to a man, kind man, called Boaz. He saw Ruth and he was really kind to her and made sure she got extra corn to eat. When Naomi heard this, she came up with a plan. A slightly odd plan. She told Ruth to go back to Boaz's field and when he was asleep to lie down at his feet. So Ruth agreed. She waited until Boaz fell asleep. And she tiptoed in and laid at his feet. When Boaz awoke, huh? he was surprised. Well, wouldn't you be surprised to find a lady sleeping at your feet? But he recognised her kindness and how she'd stuck with Naomi for all that time and travelled all that way. And he wanted to do something kind too. And soon, Ruth and Boaz were married. Mwah. And they had a son of their own, who had a son of their own, who had a son, who had a son, who had a son, who had a son. And guess what? Boaz and Ruth were to become the great, 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 great grandparents of Jesus. The end.